This is the um, partial products algorithm. This is the way that uh, the third and fourth graders learn how to do multiplication. So what, we're, what we do with partial products is, for example, this problem here, 84 times 8. We have to think of 84 as 80 plus 4. And we're going to multiply separate, separately. So we have 8 times 4. I could continue to write my problem like this. So I would start with 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. And I write the whole 32 down here at the bottom, um, underneath the line. And then I have to do the other one, 8 times 8. And what we say in third and fourth grade is, wait a second, that's not 8 times 8. That's 8 times 80. So we don't really write out the problems like this in third and fourth grade, but we just um, we just have an awareness that since this 8 is in the tens place, it's actually 80. So 8 times 80 is 640. And then this is part of my product, and this is part of my product, which is why we call it partial products. And so all I have to do is add these together. So I have them lined up um, correctly. 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 and 4 is 7, and then I bring down my 6. So my answer is 672. Let's do one more. This is 49 times 5. So again, I'm going to start with a 5 times 9, 45. 5 times 4, wait a second, that's not a 4, that's actually 40. 5 times 40 is 200. And just as a side note, 5 times 40, we call these extended facts. And we spend a lot of time in third grade, especially, doing um, multiplication facts, becoming multiplication masters. And then we do these called extended facts when we have zeros at the end. So we spend a lot of time just doing extended fact problems. What's 5 times 40? What's 5 times 400? What's 5 times 4,000? And um, we've been doing those over the last couple of weeks. And it's all building up to this process of learning how to do um, partial products. So it is something that third and fourth graders have a lot of practice in. At. So we say 5 times 4 is 20, and then all I have to do is add that 0. 20 plus a 0, that's 200, which is what I have over here. So again, I have part of my product here, part of my product here. All I have to do is add 5, 4, 2, the answer is 245.